that shit finally fucking came after about a fucking over a month now from Russia Hateware. This shit is fucking lit. Bro, check this shit out. That's how you know they fucking Russian and shit. I can't read shit that's on this goddamn box. And as you can tell by the condition of the box, they don't give a fuck about your shit. Look at this. I can pull this shit apart with one fucking hand. Alright, now I'm about to open this bitch. Oh, oh shit, wait, oh. Okay, they use some kind of styrofoam. Alright, alright, bet, bet. Bro, I tell you, I've been waiting for this shit for so fucking long. Oh my god. The fucking styrofoam is like falling to pieces. Shh. All I did was touch it. Whatever. Oh, fuck, this is gonna get everywhere. Fuck it. There we go. Bam. 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 There it is, cuz. Fucking wrapping up. So, time to go to that old trusty combat knife. Yeah. The Kid of Darkness mask. Overall, I'm loving the fucking quality of the mask. As you can see, if this shit ever focuses, please focus, son of a bitch. It ain't gonna do it, so fuck it, alright? But anyway, ah, oh, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Because uh, I've seen a few different colors. I've seen the black one, the red one, the white one. But there was a white one that didn't have the the black on the teeth. So when I bought the white one, I was like, please, please give me the black teeth on this. But overall, I am satisfied. I'm, but, in, in, shit, in terms of this fucking box. Man, when that lady came out of the post office with the box, I was like, what the fuck is in that? Is that my shit? And then look, I, all I did was touch the styrofoam. This shit broke to pieces. And I'm over here like, damn, y'all motherfuckers don't give a shit about my product, but... I was wrong. As you can clearly see, this shit was covered in fuck. I'm gonna have to focus your day. It was covered in fucking bubble wrap. Wait, um, for this unboxing video, as you've just seen the mask, I'm very happy with my product. Cost me a hundred fucking dollars. Took about, didn't start shipping until around December 19th, and it just got here this last Thursday. Uh, which was today. Today's the 28th. So, like, I think it came here on the 24th. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to take a pause. My mom was at the door real fast. But, as you can see, it fits. It really fits well. Oh, sorry for the gerbilotti. But, yeah. Uh, the jaw. You know. The jaw moves, as you can clearly see. So that's actually the main feature of this mask. For one, it has great adjustability with the straps in the back, as well as a moving jaw. Now, uh, there was one complication with a screw somewhere over here, but I fixed it with a screwdriver as best I could. So overall, I give this mask like at least an 8 out of 10. For functionality. Appearance, 10 out of 10, obviously. And um, as far as the channel is concerned, stay tuned. You might see more unboxing videos like this. Who knows? And as far as the content of this channel, with gaming videos and such like that, you will see more higher quality content coming soon. I start a new job tomorrow, actually. Oh! And shout out to the new Broly movie. I'm going to see that tomorrow as well. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, they've been extending the theater times for the movie. So normally they only gave it about a week, but you know it's still making money. It's making mad money. It's the second grossing movie in America aside from Spirited Away when that first came out. So if you haven't seen the new Broly movie, I highly recommend you go check that out. I cannot wait to go see that. And uh, if you want a mask like this, go to Russian Hate Wear. Uh, it's, this is the, ma the official mask for the band Slaughter to Prevail. The lead singer, Alex Terrible, he does all kinds of covers and stuff with this mask on. He did one for Infinite Annihilator on Holy Grave Birth. I highly recommend you go check that out. His version was sick. It was 
fucking awesome. So yeah, go check that out. And uh, uh, I'll try to leave a link to the website if you want to get a mask like this or any other products that you might like, like the uh, Satan Nike shirt that they have. Uh, I'll leave everything, all of that in the description below. So overall, I give this mask an 8 out of 10 for functionality and a solid 10 out of 10 for appearance. All right. I'll catch you all later.